Welcome, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Janelle. And together we are Tickets and Turnstiles. Today we are going over our top three choices in Universal Studios Orlando. That's right. So if you've been following along, we have been doing this with Disneyland, then Disney California Adventure, and now we are moving on to Florida where we're gonna do some Orlando stuff. And we're gonna start with actual Universal Studios. Right. Yeah. There are two parks at Universal Studios, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, but for today we are going to just stick with Universal Studios. That's right. We're gonna start with our number three top ride, or number three, how would you say My that? third, our third favorite Our ride. third favorite, thank you. Yep. Wow, okay, <laughs> our third favorite ride. So, let's get to it. So okay. it is kind of hard, because there's quite a few that- There is, yeah. That it kind of would slide into that spot. Yeah, I think so. I mean, there are quite a few rides there, but, um, to me, a lot of them kind of feel very similar. So there's a couple that stand out, but I'm very interested to know what your number three is. One, two, three. The Mummy. Men in Black. <laughs> Men in Black would have been on my list too. Yeah. Um, all right, so The Mummy, I love. They also have it at California. It's a little bit different. I just love it. It's like a dark roller coaster and I kind of dig it. And Cooper um, is back. Hi, Cooper. Hi, Cooper. All right, mine is Men in Black. I just, I feel like this is an upgraded version to um, Astro Blasters over at Disney. Uh, a little bit more, I don't know about adult, but you know. It's, it's definitely more adult. You yeah. like spin around a lot. Yeah, and it's all aliens and stuff. I don't know, I just, I really love Men in Black. It's challenging, it's fun. I do really, really horribly, but that's, that's still, you know, it's still fun. So, um, The Mummy, man, I, all right. Ready? Yep. Okay, number two. I always wonder if they're gonna be the same. <laughs> like, I feel like when we talk about this park, especially, I feel like number two might be the same ride for us. You think so? It might. I, I thought that think. before. I don't think it is. Maybe we're both riding a long time. <laughs> Take a sip of my butter beer. All right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Escape Rip from Green Gods. Oh. <laughs> Hollywood's Rip Rocket Roller Coaster. Rip Ride Rocket. Whatever it's called, that's <laughs> what it is. I just call it the big red roller coaster that goes straight up. Poopy. Yeah, that, this one is definitely my, yeah. My Rip Ride Rocket, yeah, so Rip Ride Rocket, um, it looks a little bit intimidating when you're just looking at it because you see this track that's going straight up. Yeah, but yeah. it's actually, the, it's it's not the drop. No. It's, it's the very first, when you first get on the ride, it lifts you straight up at a 90 degree angle. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it, it looks a little bit more intimidating than it really is. It looks like yeah. there's an inverted part and there are no inversions on this ride. No. It just kind of goes up um, and over the top. No, because you feel like you're going to go into the flip, but it actually pulls you well, up and over rotate. the top. Yeah, it rotates yeah. you. Um, the thing that I really love about this ride is that you can pick your own soundtrack. Not only can you pick your own soundtrack, but there's also a secret menu. So you have to know the buttons to pick, and I'm always forgetting sometimes or not. If I remember, I will insert them now. But uh, yeah, you hit a certain sequence of buttons and uh, numbers, and you can choose a song. Um, and I like doing like moving right along. That's what I did too. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> So yeah, that's a that is definitely a fun ride. Except for I'm kind of a chicken when it comes to roller coasters in a way, and so as it was pulling me straight up, and it records you. You have a video camera right yes. in the seat in front of you yeah. recording you, or if you're in the front, it's kind of setting off. But I'm like this the whole time. 
Oh, Jesus. And then I was like, I was like, yay, this is the best ride ever. But at first it was horrible. Yeah. So that's my number two. Yeah. Um, all right, mine is Escape from Green Gods. And I have a feeling this is probably gonna be her number one. But um, to me, there I wanted more from this ride, and that's why it's not really in my number one. Um it is a roller coaster. It's considered a roller coaster. It doesn't quite feel like a roller coaster to me. There's only like two sections where you feel like you're going fast and it's also in the dark. Um, so you can't really see anything going on. And then it slows down and you're kind of watching a screen and moves forward. It, it, the, the rest of it doesn't move that fast. So for me, I want fast and this just isn't fast enough for me to be called a roller coaster. I don't really call the roller coaster. Yeah, they do. But, but yeah. All right. All right. Number one. You know what my number one is not? I think your number one is not Minions. No, my number one I is not E.T. It is not E.T.? It is someone else we know's number one, but it, it is. is not mine. It is not mine either. No. Okay. Two, three. Escape from Green God. Mummy. But we both have them on the I know. Three, so that's good. Yay. I love the mummy. The mummy is fun. It's got like fire on the ceiling yeah. and um, Brendan Fraser, like the whole um, bring me coffee thing is kind of hilarious. Uh -huh. Some people don't get it, but I think it's hilarious. Let me stand there. Um, yeah. And so um, I just love the mummy. It's a fun indoor roller coaster with some fire and a lot of Egyptian um, artifacts. And it's like my that. number three spot. So yeah, oh, oh. yeah, we both liked it. Um, my number one is Escape from Green Gods. Mm -hmm. um, not a surprise to my sister. Um, Escape from Green Gods to me is so good. I'm so sad that you don't love it. Um, I love it because I think I wasn't expecting it to be a roller coaster. For me, I was expecting it to just be this immersive, fun experience from the last movie when they are escaping from Gringotts. So it really, to me, fit the bill. It doesn't exactly follow the movie or the books. Right? I know, but it is so kind of giving the feels. Yeah, I think that's also kind of like my pet peeve with it. That's why it's my number two and not my number one. But I do, I do love it. It is a fun ride. But can we talk about for one minute? Yes. The Lion Q. Yeah, it's really amazing. I mean, yeah. it's phenomenal. You are in Green Dots. And yeah. they have Hermione and Ron and... Well, even just like that very first room where they have all the bankers, that yeah. is really, really cool. And if you are someone who's getting an express pass, um, just know that you're gonna skip a lot mm. of the queue. So if the queue is important to you, if you really are a Harry Potter fan, yeah, don't skip mm. it. Or maybe skip it and then come back and write it when the line's shorter or something, but definitely you have to see the line. Just the entrance yeah. and the bank with the goblins and it's just, it's yeah. great. I am a Harry Potter freak. My, yeah. I teach third grade, my classroom is Harry Potter. So yeah. I am obsessed with all things Harry Potter. And for me, it was just, it gave me that scene. I, I was just excited for it. And the it outside- the feels. Yeah, and yeah. the outside of the bank uh -huh. looks exactly like how you picture Gringotts. It, it even has the dragon. Um, that guards Green Gods and it's on the top and it randomly breathes fire at will. I think it's every. We think, think it's every 15 minutes. They or told something. us that it doesn't have a set time. It oh. just randomly feels like it. I don't it know. It feels like about every 15 minutes. I don't know. I <laughs> it felt like shorter than that when we were there last. Yeah, I don't so. know. Anyway, that's Super my number thing. one. Yeah. Well, thank you for sticking along with us and. Uh, Come back and we will have our next video on Universal Studios Island Adventure. That's right. So you can see our top three from islands. Yep. All right. See you later. Have a magical day.